Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number first of exercise 11.4. And in this question, it is given that a cylindrical tank. In which situation will you find surface area? And in which situation you would find volume? And to solve this, uh, let's start. You are uh, you have uh, you have a gift, and you have to uh, wrap this uh, that gift. With a colored paper, this is one situation, and there is another situation. You have to fill a box with water. These are two situations. In first case, when you are wrapping the box with the colored paper, in that case, you are only wrapping its walls, or you can say the paper will cover only the walls, the surface of the walls. So in that case, you have to find out what should be the area of its walls, or you can say the surface area. In second case, because you are talking about the capacity of that box where you have to fill it with the water, and capacity is nothing but the volume. So the this is how you can differentiate between surface area and volume. Volume is nothing but the capacity. And surface area is nothing but the outer uh, the uh, the area of its outer boundary. Similarly, if I say you have a box and you have to paint it, so obviously you would paint only on the walls. Only the paint would be uh, done on the surface of the wall. So in this case, you have to find its surface area. And so similarly, if I want to find out how much air the room has, in this case. This is the example for its volume because the air would be inside that box and it would be covering complete box. In this case, this is its capacity, which is known as volume. And the first case, which was you have to cover the box, it was its surface area. So in this case, let's find in which case we'll find surface area, in which case we'll find its volume. In this first case. You have to find how much it can hold. You are given a cylindrical tank, and in this case, you have to found, find how much it can hold. So clearly, in this case, you have to find its capacity, or you can say how much it hold. So we know that in capacity, we have to find its volume. And in second case. You have to find the number of cement bags required to plaster it. So clearly, when we are plastering the room, sorry, the cylindrical tank, we are plastering only on its surface area. So in this case, we are only plastering its surface. So in this case, we would be finding its surface area. In the last case, again. You have to find the number of smaller tanks that can be filled with water from it. So clearly, if you are uh, you have a cylinder, a bigger cylinder, and you are pouring the water from this into smaller. So clearly, you are transferring its capacity, or you can say the the water this tank holds has been converted, or you can say has been shifted to another smaller tanks. So clearly. Here the capacity is transferred, so in this case we would be finding its volume. So this is how you, we can distinguish between in which case we have to find the area and in which case we have to find its volume. One thing is clear: whenever there is uh, they talk about the capacity, you have to find volume, and whenever they are saying either uh, whenever they are saying uh, about the walls, it means. Something you, if you have to do on the walls, in this case, you have to find its wall uh, surface area. Thank you.